I feel that we can all make a difference and we can all have a voice if we know what we're fighting for and if we know about these issues because all it takes is educating. And I think a lot of people want to be green but don't know how. Here in Nevada, we've been in a drought for four years and a lot of people aren't very mindful of that, but I don't think that they are aware of why they should be. We have our Truckee River, it's downtown. It goes kind of through all of Reno. This is the lowest I've ever seen it. Where I'm sitting right now would be covered in water. We would be hitting our knees on it when we were swimming. And the river is our drinking water. That now has been very shocking to a lot of people to actually visually see that we don't have our river and we need to do everything that we can to fix the drought right now and to help conserve our water here. So in 2012, my brother Hector started the Eco Warriors Club. We were trying to figure out what we wanted to solve at our school, what issues were bugging us. We learned that our school hadn't been updated since it was built in 1974, so all of the technology was really old, was so wasteful. So we applied for a grant and we won $12,000 first place to renovate those bathrooms and get updated technology. We changed the toilets to low flush toilets. We removed the paper towels and installed hand dryers. We also removed the lights uh, to be auto-censored lights and the faucets are now auto-censored faucets as well. The second part of our project was um, trying to reduce the waste of our uh, students' consumption of plastic water bottles. So what we did was we applied for another grant with the same organization and we won $3,500 second place that year to install a hydration station that the students can refill their reusable water bottles with. We also asked teachers to stop selling plastic water bottles that they did in their classrooms and we had a lot of teachers who were on board with that. and really supportive of that. These have saved over 37,000 plastic water bottles a year for Reed High School. We saved our school a lot of money, a lot of water. The most important part is that there were a lot of kids who were like, this is awesome, I didn't even know that, and I'm really excited to learn about it, or how can I join the Eco Warriors? Every little change that I've made has made enormous changes in my life. Now I'm teaching other kids to do that, and I hope that it grows the same way it did with me. And so I always make sure to express that and really emphasize that when I go into classrooms because I know these kids are gonna tell their parents what they're talking about at school. I always tell them that they're gonna be the next ones to make decisions for this generation. They're gonna grow up to be the leaders and I want them to know that they can do whatever they can to be that person to make a difference. I want them to know and be on the side of environmentalism and know that we need to take care of this starting now and until they grow old. So I hope that I really reach that and get that through to the kids.